Hey guys, Phil Baumhardt here. So for today's video, I just wanted to show you this uh, D-Guard that I made. This is a uh, custom order. Uh, I'm about to pack it up and uh, ship it off to him. So I sort of just wanted to uh, show you guys before I uh, box it up and it disappears out of my life forever. Uh, and also it's kind of a way uh, to give an update as far as my uh, current skill level goes, uh, what I can do as far as custom knives is concerned, and then maybe give you guys some ideas if you're uh, out there making your own knives. So. Um, yeah, overall, really happy with the way this knife turned out. You know, this is, you know, probably one of my better knives for sure. You can compare this to the Yankee Slayer. You can see it's just, you know, fit and finish and all that. It's all overall a little bit better. Uh, so for the sheath here, uh, one of the kind of neat things that I've never done before on the sheath is this is all one piece of leather that's uh, connected. So the, uh, the belt loop is just, uh, you know, looped over and sewn in. And then the, uh, the thumb brake snap, that's all one piece of leather connected to the uh, the rest of it so I thought that was pretty neat in the way that this uh, and I made a little uh, notch little divot on the end there for the uh, end of the guard to fit in so this fits into the sheath uh, really nice so no rattle very secure and then I put a little leather tab over the back of the uh, snap so you're not gouging up your handle I hate when uh, you buy knives and that's what they do uh, overall I find snaps kind of annoying and they get it in the way. But with this system, the way it's all integral like that, you hit that thumb brake and it just flies open out of the way. You know, over time, you know, I'm sure it'll lose some of its uh, rigidity like that, but uh, right now I'm really happy with this. Uh, so this was the raw leather that I stained with uh, my homemade birch oil as well as uh, neat soot oil. And as a Michigan-based knife maker, I always try to buy Michigan-made products of so the neat soot oil. The neat soot oil is uh, made by Bickmore, uh, Bickmore Leather, uh, and they're located in uh, in Michigan, up in uh, Whitmore Lake. So uh, I've been really happy with their product, and I will I fully intend on using that in the uh, future. So you can get that on Amazon and all that. So if you want to try out that Bickmore uh, Neat Soot Oil, they got other uh, leather care products. So uh, they're really meant for uh, like saddlery, like. Uh, a horse tack and stuff like that but works great for this you kind of get that reddish color and then the birch oil uh, kind of gives it like a darker richer golden brown and then I also left these little uh, tabs on the end of the welt that I put some holes through so if uh, the customer wants to kind of have a leg tied down or like a lashing point you have that on there but that's easy enough to trim off and burnish off but uh, I always kind of with these bigger knives I kind of like the uh, the option for the leg tie down that way it's not flopping around when you're walking around and then plus you feel kind of cool like a uh, gunslinger or something like that okay here's a little bit uh, closer look at the knife so the customer contacted me and he said he was looking for a uh, Hudson Bay type blade which is what I've uh, done here on a D guard um, and then this is a uh, hickory handle so he chose out the, uh, the type of wood from what I had available uh, which is a good choice it's a rugged uh, durable wood but it's got a real nice grain to it stain it with some uh, you know mild wood stain and then put some linseed oil on top of that because just the oil finish is gonna look better the blade has got the uh, the patina from the quench and the temper left down there so it's got kind of that uh, rugged wood woodsman trapper kind of look to it so the way that the uh, the snap works you know, this is this is such a big knife, so it'll probably be meant for uh, cross draw. But right or left handed, it all it all works. So if you're right handed, you grab it, pop that thumb brake, and then you'll be able to pull the knife out. So the way that this is a integral sheath design, with this all being one piece of leather, uh, the leather just wants to pull apart like that. Uh, which that's one thing that really bugs me with uh, most uh, snap retention systems is that when you're trying to put the knife back in, you know these are getting in the way, and you're trying not to cut these off and stuff like that. So. I also put a little tab of leather over the uh, the back of the uh, rivet snap so that way this isn't gouging up your leather. That's another thing that bugs me uh, when you buy a knife. That these things can uh, chew up your uh, handles. Did some test cutting with it because uh, he wanted this to be a uh, bush knife. So it had to hold up to uh, a lot of uh, tree felling, um, limb felling duties. So if you're looking for a particular type of knife, get a hold of me, send me an uh, email or a message through Facebook or Instagram, and we'll see what we can do for you. You know, right now I'm making knives full time, so, uh, you know, if you've got something you're looking for, uh, I'll have a pretty quick uh, turnaround, you know, maybe a month or two. I try not to rush, take my time, and, and make sure I do it right. 
but uh, right now at this stage of my career I'm able to you know get get out to a uh, custom order in a fairly uh, decent amount of time you know there's not a year backlog or something like that and uh, so I'm, I'm you know willing to work with you and come up with uh, whatever uh, whatever sort of knife you want but hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video and uh, maybe got something out of it if you're a, a knife maker. But for me, I just kind of wanted to make this video to remember this knife kind of for uh, posterity, sort of for my own records and decided to share it with you guys since I'm so, you know, happy with the way this turned out. But as always, thank you so much for your support. And until next time, be more Viking.